As a designer, I choose tools that help me boost my creativity and also boost my productivity. In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite tools of all time that I use every day for design specifically. Fun fact, I actually had to refilm this video again because I wasn't happy with the previous footage. So let's dive into it. First up, meet my one and only laptop, my 13-inch MacBook Pro. This laptop has 16GB of RAM, quad-core, and an Intel i5 processor. Since the modern UI UX design tools nowadays like Figma, Sketch, or Adobe XD are pretty lightweight, it runs fine on these specs. But however, for 4K video editing or creating animations on Adobe After Effects, the lag can be slightly frustrating. Nevertheless, it's sufficient for my current usage. And if you feel like getting a new laptop strictly for UI UX design, you don't need to go for the maximum specs for now, unless you're doing some video editing or some animation work. As for meetings and organizing my tasks, I use Google Calendar. On busy days, I use a time management technique called time blocking. And what this means is I allocate one to two hours on a specific task on Google Calendar. So by allocating one to two hours on a specific task, I ensure that I not only get uninterrupted deep work, I will also remember to do the tasks that I might forget if I don't allocate them on my calendar. So to track how much time I have spent on a project, maybe for client invoicing purposes, I will use Google Calendar to track it back by searching into the calendar itself. That will help me calculate hours that I've spent so far. For noting down quick ideas, I use my trusty little notebook here and also a pen. So what I have in this notebook is all my sketches, my wireframes, flow mappings, some quick ideas. Everything is right here and sometimes I even have a sticky to-do list here. And as you can tell, you don't need to be good at drawing to become a product designer. I also draft my YouTube videos in this notebook so that I can picture exactly how I want my videos to be like. This is sort of like a brain dump because I can quickly sketch down things. Studies have shown that sketching quickly on a notebook is really effective for learning something fast or remembering things. My go-to design tool is Figma, as you can tell. I'm a huge Figma advocate because it has the best designer experience in my unpopular opinion. I can design, hand off and prototype all on Figma. And if I use the Lottie plugin, I can actually insert beautiful animations to wow my clients. Besides product design, I also use Figma to draw my floor plans, design YouTube thumbnails, and also do client invoicing for design work. If I'm designing a mobile app, I will quickly mirror the prototype from Figma to my phone using the Figma Mirror app. And this app is free, you can download it and try it out. So basically what it does is when I click a frame on Figma and I launch the app on my phone right now, it will basically mirror the frame that I'm looking at exactly. And if I have any prototype links already done on Figma, I can straight away use it on my phone and have a feel of how the prototype looks like right on my phone. So this gives me a more realistic experience on how my designs are going to look like on the phone. And by experiencing the prototype in my hands, I get to make better design decisions. Have you ever wondered how to create sleek and lightweight animations on websites and apps? So those are actually called Lottie animations. I create Lottie animations with three things. Figma, a plugin called Ayo, and also Adobe After Effects. This might sound really complicated, but really it's not. Let me just give you a brief idea of what I mean. So now I have a design on Figma and I will launch Ayo, which is a Figma plugin. I can easily export my designs from Figma to Adobe After Effects with a click of a button. And once I've animated my designs on Adobe After Effects, I will use the Lottie plugin to export my animation as a Lottie file right inside Adobe After Effects. Once you publish the Lottie animation to Lottie, you will have a simple URL to preview your animations, which developers can transfer this Lottie file, which is in the form of a JSON format, plug it into websites and apps, and this is how a delightful Lottie animation is created. And yeah, that's one of my favorite tools that I cannot live without right now. For brainstorming, design sprints, and flow mapping, I use FigJam. FigJam is built inside Figma. It is free to use until the end of 2021. FigJam is really great for brainstorming with a person or a team because of its live collaboration features and also it is really fun and easy to use. If you don't know where to start, FigJam has a bunch of free templates in the community section, which you can check out here. 
and you can duplicate whatever you need. As for meetings, I'll put on my AirPods Pro and launch Google Meet or Zoom. I will also share my screen if I need to get some design feedback or design critique sessions together with the team. I also use Google Meet for remote user testing. What I will do is I will launch Google Meet with the person that I'm testing with. I'll basically ask their consent while I record the entire session right on Google Meet. As for communications with teams, I use Slack. We can create different channels for different topics on Slack. If we need to hop on a quick call with a teammate, we can do that easily. We can even scribble while someone else is screen sharing so that we can pinpoint some designs or some things that we want to take note of. As for goal planning, project management, or managing my to-do list, I will do it all with Notion. So I can access Notion on my desktop browser, my desktop app, my phone, and also my iPad. And this is really useful for note taking on the go. Here's where I plan all my work. I organize all my tasks by priority. If I have any data or notes for a certain project, I will store them in the projects page. As a designer, rapid prototyping is really important to validate your designs quickly and get user feedback as soon as you can. So to validate my prototypes quickly, I use Maze. Maze is a rapid remote testing tool to use to get user feedback. What I do is I set up the test on Maze. I will link the prototype from Figma to Maze and then I will send a Maze URL, which is a simple link where the users who are testing it can actually view this prototype on their browser or their phone. If you are not on Figma, you can still use Maze with XD, InVision, Sketch, and also Marvel. Once the test results are in, we have it on the Maze reporting system. So on this Maze report, we will get the results in a visually attractive format, which you can treat the way you use it to present with your stakeholders. You don't need to visualize the data yourself because Maze has done it for you already. So this is a really good tool for validating prototypes quickly. And if I need to send out surveys to a large volume of people, say hundreds and thousands, I will use Google Forms because it's free and it's easy to use. So as a designer, how do you know if your designs are performing? To measure that, I use analytics tools like Google Analytics, Mixpanel, Amplitude, CleverTab, AppsFlyer, and also Full Story. Each tool has their own pros and cons. Feel free to try it out for your own needs and see which one suits you best. For heat maps, I use Hotjar, which has a generous free tier to begin with. So here's an example of a live heat map for one of my projects. To build pixel perfect websites without code, I use Webflow. Whenever I want to add something new to my website, a new idea, a new page that I want to add, I can do it really quickly with Webflow without having to touch a single line of code. And this is really useful for me because I want to think fast, act fast, implement the designs, put it there and done. If I want to add in some Lottie animations that I created myself, I can do that in Webflow as well because it supports Lottie animations. Oftentimes, the best tool is the one that you already have. Start with the tool that you already have and make the most out of it. Sometimes you gotta just start. So what are your favorite tools? Feel free to share your tool stacks in the comment section below. If you have any content that you'd like me to share, feel free to comment below, DM me on Instagram. I'm really thankful for the support that the community here on YouTube has given me. I read every single one of your emails and your messages, but I couldn't reply to every one of them because there are really a lot. You can watch my other videos about UI UX design or productivity if you have some time. So check it out and don't forget to subscribe.